Hi, fellow plasma cutters. I uh, just wanted to show a couple of things, uh, a couple of little tips today. Uh, right now I'm building a new one of these, which is a uh, demonstrator table for hand cutting plasma at trade shows. This one's disassembled. Some of the parts are over here on the bench. Uh, you can see in the background, that's the top that shields uh, when you're demonstrating a plasma at a trade show, shields the arc. Uh, fan assembly, obviously, and then the routing for the fumes that goes down through here. And if you look in through here, these are the, the filter housings that hold the actual filters so we don't make smoke at a trade show. Anyway, that whole unit that's uh, up there on my Presto lift, I'm copying. I didn't have, I had all the DXF files from the last time I made one, but didn't really have uh, good instructions. So I'm kind of making sure I do this one the same way. So this one's kind of welded up. The frame is welded up. Uh, CNC cutting table back there. A hypertherm logo, of course, just above it. Uh, but I just want to show, um, you know, I hear a lot of things about fine cut consumables. I just love them on uh, eighth inch or 10 gauge steel. And you can see these parts that I just barely cut. It's not even tacked in place yet. And these pieces right here, they're still a little, a little bit warm that I picked off the table. This is as cut. This is fine cut on 10 gauge at exactly book settings. So the speed uh, is book settings. Uh, this is, happens to be cold wood steel. These pieces I just picked off the table too. You can see there's no grinding, no chipping, nothing. This is the way fine cut works, assuming that your machine is achieving the settings uh, that come right out of the manual. So I just wanted to point a few of those things out. I had another little video that I'm showing that kind of shows the way the sparks are supposed to go off the bottom of of an air plasma cutter when you're cutting steel. They actually lead. Uh, so take a look at that video as well. You can uh, it was just, I just happened to notice it was a good depiction showing where the spark should be. Well, I gotta get, I got a couple more pieces to cut and I got some welding to do. So talk to you later.